welcome to this lesson on the concept of set and lock. Set and lock is a teaching aid as well as a method used by one of the best coaches in the world, Phil Ritson. Better known among golf pros than from the general public, and with a career spanning more than 60 years, Phil has coached more than 150 star players on professional tours around the world, from Gary Player to KJ Choi, as well as Ballesteros, Wusman, Davis Toms, Curtis Strange and Tom Pertzer. He was also the coach of well-known David Ledbetter, who was his assistant in Florida. David said, Phil was the one who taught me how to teach golf. Known as God on the tour, the secrets of Phil's popularity and staying power are numerous, and one of these has made it possible for some of his students to rise among the best golfers in the world. This secret, which Phil shares with us today, is probably the least understood and most controversial part of the golf swing. That is, for right-hand golfers, the action and control of the right wrist during the swing, especially at the moment of impact. It's a simple method that Phil sums up with two words, set and lock. Let's spend a few minutes with Phil to better understand his method and his secret. The right wrist angle. This is very important indeed. It's one of my true secrets, I believe, in teaching golf. And that is the way I control my right wrist throughout the whole swing. You'll notice there's an angle formed by the back of the right wrist here about 10 degrees, and right throughout my whole swing, I keep my right wrist angle, and I'm gonna do this slowly, in the same position. When I go through, I release my left arm, but the right wrist stays in that same cup position. For example, in slow-mo here again, swinging slowly, and I'm gonna really swing in what I describe as a slow-mo feel. Watch the back of my right wrist. It stays cupped, and I release my left arm through the ball. Very important indeed. You almost feel like you're hitting the ball with a heel pad of your right hand as you go through. I play all my shots like that. There's no change at all. But to really control your right wrist, feel that right wrist angle stay constant throughout the whole swing. This is very important indeed. So the method is very easy. It really is. It's called set and lock. And this is possibly the most common fold in golf. And winding those hands early throwing the club at the ball too soon. And obviously, as you can see, this is gonna stop power. It's gonna eliminate power because you've unwound early and all you have left is arm speed and body speed. So the ball's not gonna go very far. Let me show you how to delay your hands. Keep the club head away from the ball as long as possible. That's one of the true secrets. How do we keep the club head away from the ball as long as possible? Let's wind up, big wind up, turning the right side. And the feeling is, when you start your downward swing, you point the handle of the club to the ball as long as possible. So the method is very easy, it really is. It's called set and lock. Watch the back of my right wrist. It stays cupped and I release my left arm through the ball. Very important indeed. You almost feel like you're hitting the ball with a heel pad of your right hand as you go through. I play all my shots like that. There's no change at all. Set and lock. You'll notice when I come through in slow motion here, as I go through, I lock the back of my right wrist. Real trick in the shot. It's the feeling of not allowing the fingers of the right hand to pass the heel pad. So as you go through, please lead with the left hand, pull down with that left hand and left arm, and lock that right wrist. So the method is very easy, it really is. It's called set and lock. Please remember, the feeling is to set the wrist and lock. And you'll notice, I don't stand there trying to get the ball out, which is a very common fault. This is why if you set and lock, it'll eliminate the, the tendency to want to pick the ball out of the, out of the sand. Let the club head work for you, very important indeed. Set and lock. The secret of spinning this ball is the back of my right wrist. The idea here is the dagger is the delay. There again, you get a late hit, and notice how when I hit this ball, the fingers of my right hand never pass the heel pad. In slow motion, as I go through here, 
I rotate my left forearm, but the fingers have never passed the heel pad. I don't flick it at all. I lock the back of my right wrist. This is very important indeed. So please remember, when you swing, lock the back of your right wrist and release with the left arm. I want you to watch the back of my right wrist, how late I am and how fast my hips clear. And believe me, that's maximum spin. Good shot, Phil. Set and lock. You notice my hands are right on top of the ball. The key is so easy. All you do is set your wrist very gently, let your body move just a little bit, and then lock the back of your right wrist as you go through. Don't allow the right hand to flick over at all. Don't let the fingers of the right hand pass the heel pad under any circumstances, please. So pull down hard with those top three fingers of the left hand and the left arm and lock the back of your right wrist. This will allow the club to slide under the ball, roll up the club face just that little bit and give you the backspin that is required. Let me play the shot for you. Also remember, it's feel. Visualize the shot before you play it. Get a feeling where you're gonna bounce that ball and let it run just that little bit. Remember, it's rhythm, back slow, and I go through slowly, but with a feeling of picking up the acceleration with my hips. I don't pick up any acceleration with my hands. The hand shot is a no-no. So many of us try and scoop the ball up. Natural tendency. Let me play the shot for you in line with the inside of the left heel. Face is open just a little bit. Watch the back of my right wrist in the shot. Watch how I lock it as I go through. You notice how softly that ball came up, stopped, and it's controlled. So please remember, lock the back of that right wrist. Set and lock. A little pitch and run shot, which believe me can become magic. It's a shot that you almost want to sink every time you play it. In other words, hold it. How do we play this shot? It's very simple. Feet are fairly close together. Lean over into the left side. Hands are slightly ahead. What you have to feel here is that you're locking the back of your right wrist and pulling through with your left hand. So lock the right wrist, pull through with your left hand. On the back switch, set the wrist gently, open the face just a little bit, and then lock the right wrist. Pull down with the left hand and arm, and lock the right wrist. Let me show you how I play this shot. I feather the grass to get a good feel. I find my spot where I'm gonna land that ball. This is important. Imagine what the ball is gonna do. You have to visualize the shot. So it's a gentle wrist set on the backswing, and then lock the back of the right wrist as you go through. And believe me, with this method, you've got a chance of sinking them every time. Now that you have discovered the method and the secret of the Pro's Pro, let's look at the teaching aid Set and Lock itself, a tool which lets you see and more importantly feel the right action of your wrist. Let's start with the proper installation of the Set and Lock. Set and Lock can be used by right hand or left hand players alike. It should be installed on the right forearm or left forearm for lefties. We will see later in this video other possible use for the Set and Lock. Insert the forearm in the wristbands and make sure to place the band of the set and lock over the joint of your wrist. This is critical. When you bend the right wrist, the back of your hand should touch the set and lock without effort. Please note that this movement does not correspond to the setting of the wrist during the swing. It is simply to ensure that the set and lock is properly installed. Once the set and lock is properly installed, Take a club, take your grip and position yourself at the address position. If your grip is neutral, you should immediately notice that the back of your right hand is away from the back of the set and lock. Indeed, when you take your grip, an angle of about 10 degrees naturally forms at the back of your wrist. The difference of the angle between the back of your right wrist and the back of the set and lock represents the setting of your wrist during the swing. Let's look at this setting in order to better understand the movement of the wrist. 